Sensory acuity. Yeah. This is a concept from NLP, which I love, and I believe that some of the top actors in the world use NLP to get their mindset right. And so there's no misunderstanding, is NLP is Neuro Linguistic Programming. It's the language we use that programs our mind. It's the things that we say to ourselves. And what happens is, if you say the right things to yourself, automatically you will feel differently. So according to psychologists, our thoughts predict 95% of our feelings. So if you have the sensory awareness to catch your thoughts, you'll understand what makes you successful and what makes you a failure. So successful people think in terms of their outcomes. What is it that I want? And they focus exclusively on that thing that they want. Hmm. Yep. So what happens here is you can't hit a target that you can't see. So if you're clear on that target and you're aware and you keep bringing yourself back on track, you'll always be focused on that. Here's a, here's a great example. I was cabin crew. I co-led a team of 17,000 cabin crew. And I asked the captain of my aircraft one day, I said, if we're flying from Dubai to San Francisco, and during that flight, if we're just one degree off course, what will happen by the time we get to San Francisco? And he said, Daniel, if we're one degree off for 16 hours, we will never get to San Francisco. And I said, why not? He said, because what will happen is one degree, one degree, one degree, one degree, after 16 hours puts you off by more than 16 degrees. Hmm. It means you could be flying 600 miles north of San Francisco. You could be flying 600 miles south of San Francisco. You could be overshoot the runway by 600 miles by being wow. one degree off course. Hmm. So imagine if you were just one degree off every hour of your day and you didn't bring yourself back on. What if you were just one degree off your goal every day for a year you'd never get there so sensory acuity is the ability for us to stop to look around and ask ourselves a very simple question am i on track or am i off track yeah. are we heading in the right direction are we in the right direction yeah. and if you're not there's an old turkish proverb that says it doesn't matter how far you travel down the wrong road it's still the wrong road yes and you got to turn around and you've got to get back, Go back on the path. Yeah, absolutely. And what you can take away from this is that you need to stop and ask yourself, am I on track? Hmm. And if you're not, ask for a timeout. Everybody will give you a timeout to recollect your thoughts. So learn to do that.